Good morning, sixth grade. It is Thursday, March 18th. Let's begin in prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. May God give you for every storm a rainbow, for every tear a smile, for every care a promise and a blessing in each trial. For every problem life sends, a faithful friend to share, for every sigh a sweet song and an answer for each prayer. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, so we have a warm up today. This is Gianna's other cat. She um, she has two cats. We saw Mystic earlier in the week, and this is Katamia. I think is how she explained that I pronounced the name. But this, oh my gosh, she is just a gorgeous cat. Look at those eyes, and she's so serious. So, go ahead, pause the video, um, do this warm up problem, and then come on back. Okay, so let's calculate this tip. Um, so if I went and got a haircut and it cost $25 and I wanna leave a 20% tip, I need to figure out what's the tip amount. So remember the tip is a, a part of the total, right? So if I'm tipping 20%, I wanna find 20% of $25. So X over 25 is equal to 20 over 100. And by now you guys should be starting to feel comfortable using this percent proportion. Um, it's the part over the whole is equal to the percent over 100. Remember that the part over the whole, when we're figuring out tip or figuring out tax or we're figuring out a discount, we're figuring out an amount that is part of a whole. So we're always finding the, the part basically. So the tip is part of $25. The discount is part of the original price. Tax is part of what we pay. When we have tip and we have tax, we add those on. When we have a discount, we subtract them, okay? But that's always second. We always do that addition and subtraction after we figure out the amount, which we use the percent proportion for, okay? So if I solve this problem, I do 25 times 20 is equal to 100X, and X is going to be equal to $5. So um, the tip, is $5. If I wanted to figure out the total cost, I would just add it together. I would add it to the original cost. So the total amount that I'm gonna leave for the hairdresser is $25 plus $5 or $30. Okay, now this problem didn't have tax involved, so you didn't have to worry about tax. All right, okay. Okay, so we are at the end of our unit. We have studied all of the different topics about percents that we're gonna study in sixth grade. You'll do a little bit more next year in seventh grade, um, but it's time for us to have our final assessment. Now, we're not gonna have a test over percents. I decided to do things a little different this time. You're gonna have a, a little mini project um, and I'm gonna explain it to you right here in this video. It's not meant to take you more than about the amount of time it would take to do a test, okay? This isn't a big project. We're gonna have some bigger projects later on in the quarter when we do some geometry. This is like a test, but it's not a test. It's more because you get to make some choices in it and get to do some, some things that um, it's not just multiple choice, okay? So I'm gonna talk about, there's two parts to the assessment. The first part has, um, you're going to a restaurant and you're figuring out all of the different elements of a receipt, all the different parts of the receipt that you would get or the bill that you would get. So you're, you're given the, um, the receipt form, okay, that you're gonna fill in with all the information and you're given a menu that you need to pick items off the menu. You're gonna pick your items and you're gonna list them on your receipt and there's some specific instructions on what kinds of things you need to pick. There's a certain number of items you need to pick and the different kinds of items you need to pick. So make sure you're following instructions when you're picking items off the menu. You're gonna pick all your items and you're gonna list them on the menu or list them on your receipt, okay? Then you're given a coupon, okay? And so you're told that you can get um, a certain percent off of one of the items. So you have to figure out a sale price on one of the items. Okay, or figure out the discount. You'll figure out the discount and you'll subtract that so that you know how much money you got off of that item. 
Once you know the discount and you know the cost of all the items you're gonna buy, you'll add that all together and that gives you your subtotal, okay? So you'll calculate your subtotal and the, the form explains the different steps. I would highly recommend that you follow the steps in order, okay? You do it in order. And then you're gonna calculate the tax. Once you know the subtotal, you'll be given the tax rate and you need to figure out the tax. And then you're gonna need to fill in a total after tax, but before the tip, okay? The reason I'm doing it this way is because when you go to a restaurant, that's what you're going to get on a receipt. They're gonna give you the subtotal, they're gonna figure out the tax and they're gonna give you the total. And that's all gonna be on your receipt before you figure out your tip. Now, we've talked about this though. We've talked about how we calculate a tip and which number do we use? Do we use the subtotal or do we use a total? Okay, we use the subtotal. So when you calculate your tip, make sure you use the right number. Okay, and it's, it's, you're told in the assignment what percent to use for the tip. Once you figured out your tip, then you'll figure out the absolute final total and you need to figure out how you add that all together, okay? So it's, I think it's a pretty straightforward assignment. You have to think, I want you to take your time. Okay, don't rush through this. And before you turn it in, please make sure you check your work. Okay, double check. If you have questions, you can reach out to your tutor or you can reach out to me. We are happy to help you. We aren't gonna give you the answer, but we'll, we'll help you go get in the right direction, okay? Because you have to think about this is like a test. It isn't a test, but it's like a test, okay? We wanna see what you know about solving problems with percents. Okay, so that's part one. Part two, you're given a circle graph. This is very similar to the problem that you got on Monday. So from our assignment on Monday with circle graphs, you're gonna be given a circle graph and you're gonna answer some questions about that circle graph. So make sure you, you study the circle graph, you read the instructions carefully, you follow instructions and you answer the questions about the circle graph, okay? If you are unsure, go back and look at that assignment on circle graphs. You could always go back and watch the video from Monday again also. Okay, so that you're ready for that part of the assessment. This assessment um, is worth 50 points. So you need to treat it like a test. This isn't like a homework assignment where it's just, you know, a couple of points here or there. This is 50 points. This is a big assignment. So treat it that way. Treat it like a test. Take your time on it. Um, Again, if you need, if you get confused or you want to ask a question, ask a question, ask me, ask your tutor, and we will help you as much as we can with, again, without solving it for you, okay? And then when you're done, obviously go off and have a great weekend and relax, and then we'll see you next week, and we will start geometry next week, which I am just so excited about, okay? Have a wonderful afternoon. Have a wonderful weekend. Reach out if you need help all those things. You've got this. You can do it. I know you guys can do it. We've been working on percents for quite some time now. So um, have some confidence and go get it done. All right. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.